Want to see faster progress in your violin journey and you feel like you're just a little bit stuck not knowing what to do? My first question for you is, are you recording yourself? Whether it's audio or video? This is the fastest way for you to progress by self-correcting. Hi, I'm violinist Heather Kay. I work with dedicated adult violinists who desire to develop impeccable technique and to play with gorgeous tone. In this video, I'll be giving you tips on how to use video to play better and overcome performance anxiety. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> video is such a great tool and it's at our fingertips. Just with our iPhone or smartphone, we're able to record ourselves with video and audio. It's your choice. You can use voice memos and record yourself playing the violin with audio to listen to the sound that you're producing. Or better yet, you can use your camera app and record yourself via video. Video is wonderful because you can actually see yourself playing. You can see if there's some improvements that you need to make in your left hand setup or in your right hand setup. Or you can truly see if your bows are going straight and if you hear something you don't like, you can see exactly what happened in the moment that that happened. <laughs> and you can pinpoint why it happened. As violinists, it's difficult to be aware while playing, especially if you are in the beginner stages or an intermediate violinist or returning after a long period of time. If you're just playing the violin and not observing yourself, it's truly difficult to find out what needs to be improved upon if you're not seeing what exactly is going on and what's causing the problems. So the first step in using video to play better and to overcome performance anxiety is to actually record yourself. <laughs> and if you have a fear around recording yourself, especially watching or listening to yourself, this is the best way to have you overcome that fear. You may have so much fear that you just don't even want to record yourself. So in order to kind of get yourself desensitized, have your phone with you in your practice room, in your practice session, and just hit record for that video multiple times. <laughs> and you don't even have to watch it. You can wait two days later if you need to, to watch the video, or you could just delete it and just record yourself and then delete without watching. Record yourself and delete. So you could get used to playing for the recorder. At the very beginning, you don't even have to publish the video anywhere. You don't even have to watch the video yourself. If you want to just break into the recording of your violin playing gently by practicing hitting the record button and playing. Because there is such a different feeling knowing that you're being recorded as you're playing than if you're not being recorded, as I'm sure you know. So this is a great way to work through that. I would suggest video recording on a daily basis. Every time you practice the violin, have your phone there and take a quick recording. Now this doesn't have to be on an entire concerto or three pages or even one page. You could just record two measures or five notes that you're listening for and wanting to know what's going on. Perhaps there's a measure in your piece that's just not going well. You sound bad every single time you play that measure. Then record yourself so you can see what exactly is going on. Once you do have the desire to watch your recording, it's great to put yourself in a specific mindset. And that mindset is you are observing somebody else. This is not you. Detach yourself from what you're seeing on the recording. Detach yourself emotionally and watch the recording with diagnostic tools to help you improve or to help the person in the recording improve. Think of it as somebody else. Perhaps you're the teacher, the recording is your student. And what advice would you give this person to improve that specific area? First, you can investigate the left hand. How is the left hand working in that area? Is it looking balanced, relaxed? How is the right hand, if it's tone that you're listening for? What's going on with a bow? Look for tension. Is there some possible tension in different areas that you could discover and relax so you can have a better sound? 
notice what is in the video without any judgment of this is good or bad. Don't put a value on it. Just notice what is. One thing you think of is, hmm, I don't prefer that. So we're not putting in like a negative energetic charge or uh, you feel like you're part of you is being devalued because you ha made a mistake or it doesn't sound good. This is completely different. Observe as a musical scientist on what needs to be improved. And this doesn't take away any value of you as a person if <laughs> there's something you don't like in that video. And then always keep in mind, the video is really just a snapshot of that day. Just because you played it this way today and you're not happy with it doesn't mean it's gonna forever be that way. That's the beauty of taking video and watching and taking notes of what you see can be improved on. I would suggest keeping a journal as well. And when you work with these videos, these recordings of yourself, to write the measure down that uh, you notice something and then to write in that, right next to that measure number, to write what you'd like to improve upon and what you can do to improve it. So for example, there was an out of tune shift in perhaps measure 23. You wanna write down measure 23 and then intonation after that, how are you going to improve that? Are you going to practice a specific exercise? Perhaps it was a shift between third and fifth that you want to isolate. You can write this out, the exercise that you want to uh, create to help you with that shift in your journal so that the next day you come to your practice session, you have that written down. There are manuscript paper journals that you can use so that it's really easy to write out your own exercises to help you improve. While you're watching the video, you can ask these questions. How can I make this better? How can I make it easier? How can I make it sound better? How can I make it more appealing? What do I need to do to be happier with this segment of music that you listen to yourself play in the recording? You may see some overall things that you can actually fix in your playing that's not specifically within that two measures that you played or whatever your recording is that you that you decided to do you may see some overall things that you could do to improve yourself as a violinist perhaps your violin hold or your bow hold when you see it visually then you know hey you know what i actually did see that it's a lot different than when your teacher tells you week after week that your left hand isn't right or your thumb isn't right or your right hand isn't right or set up proper, then when you see it yourself in the video, you know that, yeah, that's really going on. <laughs> it makes it more real. You could also choose to only listen to one thing at a time, because there's so many things going on as violinists that you may want to just focus on your rhythm. So listen to the recording and focus on the rhythm. Is the rhythm exactly correct? Are you staying in time? You can focus on just on intonation. How is it sounding? Are you truly in tune? Is every note truly in tune? If not, does it need to be higher or lower? You could watch again and just focus on your sound. Do you like your sound? Was it crunchy, scratchy, squeaky? <laughs> Were you not happy with your bow changes? Was your bow not straight? Did you feel like you could have more of a focused sound in a specific area? Or perhaps your dynamics weren't as elaborate as you thought they were. It's also very important to take note of the things that you did like. So to write down in your journal three things that you really enjoyed in that video recording. Even if you couldn't find one, the fact that you made the recording, that is a good thing. <laughs> so that could be your number one. If tone is one of the biggest things that you want to fix as a violinist, if you want to sound better as you play the violin, You'll love my four pillars to gorgeous tone. I'll leave a link here. It's completely free, immediately downloadable, and it'll get you going on uh, some ideas that you can incorporate into your practice sessions to help you improve your sound and tone on the violin. While we're playing, there's a lot to listen for, and the fact that you can video record or use voice memos and audio record, it detaches you from the fact that you're playing. <laughs> so you played, you finished playing, and now you get to listen back. So you'll most likely hear things that you did not hear when you're playing. My personal story with audio recording, I would record my violin sessions with my teachers at all times and listen back to that to help me improve. And then when I started taking auditions, I recorded myself on a regular basis because it's better if I hear what needs to be fixed other than having somebody else hear what needs to be fixed and it's too late. 
So I'd love to hear from you uh, that you have created your first video recording and just let me know in the comments below and say, yeah, I did it. Check in <laughs> and let me know that you created your video recording and even write in what you observed. Happy practicing. Ciao.